about the second law. Let's come to the second law. Second law is the main equation or main uh, law which leads to derive the equation for force. So actually what is given in your grade 10 is a bit confusing. Okay, it is not the righteous method. But however, I will teach you what is there given in your grade 10 book. What they say is the second law. The acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the unbalanced force acting on it. While it is inversely proportional to its mass. Again and again, this is not the correct method of second law. What I am saying is give what, give what is given in your book. Right? The acceleration of a body is directly right. So what is this acceleration we have studied? What is this acceleration? Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Okay, we have studied it. In VT graph, the gradient gives you the acceleration. Can you remember something like that? Right. So acceleration of a body. Let's say acceleration of a vehicle. Increasing velocity or decreasing velocity of a vehicle is directly proportional to the force applied. And for example, if there is an object, if there is an object, if I give 5 Newton, the acceleration what obtained is lesser than the acceleration it obtains when I give 10 Newton. That means the acceleration, so you know what is directly proportional. For example, if say 1 to is 5 rupees, 2, 2 toffees are 10 rupees. 3 toffees become 15 rupees. That means whenever the number of whenever the number of toffees increase, the price also increase. So therefore we call it what? The proportional. <coughs> Directly proportional. Inversely proportional means whenever one factor increase, the other one will decrease. For example, when the number of worker increase, the time taken to complete the work will decrease. For example, if there is a house, which can be completed within 10 days by using 50 workers. The same house can be completed if you use 100 workers within 5 days. So whenever, whenever, whenever the number of workers increase, the time taken is decreasing. That means whenever factor increase, the other factor is decreasing. Right? Also, also, directly proportional means two of them will increase. Let's make it simple. Whenever force increases, okay, the acceleration increases. So the first statement, first statement in the second law says you that the acceleration of an object of a body is directly proportional to the unbalanced force acting on it. The important point, the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the unbalanced force acting on it. Also, it is inversely proportional. Inversely proportional means when A increase the B decreases. It is inversely proportional to the mass of object. Okay? The mass of object is inversely proportional and the resultant unbalanced force is directly proportional. This is the message given by the second law. So the focus second law narrates that the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the unbalanced force acting on it while it is inversely proportional to its mass. Okay, this is the simple message what is given by the second law. Based on this, we derive the equation F is equal to MA. What is the equation what we derive? F is equal to MA. It is derived as below. Acceleration is directly proportional to force. Acceleration is inversely proportional to force. Okay. Therefore, acceleration is inverse, sorry, is directly proportional to F over M. Also, acceleration is equal to, so acceleration is equal to, sorry, is proportional to F over M. As a result of it, F over M A is, equal, is a constant value. F over M A is a constant value. F over MA will be a constant value. Based on it, F is equal to MA. Okay? So that constant value, we obtain it as 1. As a result of it, F will be equal to MA. So force acting on an object, Q rises to the acceleration. Right.
Okay, okay, okay. 